tight grip for this race, number 11, another heat of the solos. Somebody's got a little tip down by, they're not happy with something there on the starting line, but he's pulling back from the grid. Zach is pulling back to the grid, starting march was calling him in the line, but Zach's obviously got a problem there on the starting line, he pulls back from the tanks. Cut out very well with the problem there, which he just kept sorted out before coming into line. He's had a win in the third place so far. Ronnie McDonald, two seconds in the third so far. afternoon so far. Number 92, Charlie Powell. Number 181, Matt Saw. Number 2, Anthony Buggle. Number 19, Dave Mears. And number 200, Scott Cresswell. Number 
Cresswell. Well, Scott Cresswell then off just over there. Scott Cresswell comes across the line in five. And then uh, the final rider across the line is 181 Matt Saul. Result for race 12, number 17, no points. Number 107, Josh Dingle, 9 points. Number 92, Charlie Powell, 7 points. Number 181, Matt Saul, 3 points. Number 2, Anthony Buggle, 6 points. Number 19, Dave Mears, 5 points. And number 200, Scott Cresswell, 4 points. Number 70, Jamie Griffiths will be out on machine number 18 for this race 13. So, cracking action again with James Shanes, James Wright, Mitch Goff should be in for a superb race this time then. This guy's going to be on the outside. We're going to have James Wright next to him. And we've got Dave Cleo towards the middle of the grid. Jamie Griffiths right on the inside. Then Callum Walker comes alongside him. We're just waiting to see where James Shanes is going to go. So we should be for some cracking racing with uh, Wright, Gob and Shane and Walker won his last outing as well. So we should have some uh, cracking racing, race number 13 and the reserve number one. That's Colin Team coming back out again. Ron Winterburn is going to have the inside. 
Gallon comes in alongside him. Then we've got Lee Jones and we've got Peter Lloyd. Where's Will Offman going to go? He goes into grid number four. So four extremely quick crews in action in what should be a crackerjack race number 14. Will Peter Lloyd hold his on the tag? Will the wind of be too quick? And then will
superb sidecar action there in race number 15. Brilliant stuff, particularly that race for second and third places. So the points as follows. Number 18, Mick Stace and Joshua Edwards, no points. Number 12, Nilo and Jason Farwell, five points. Number 22, Will Penfold, Ricky Pay, six points. Number 42, Robbie Wilson, Bradley Steer, seven points. And number eight, Gary Shearer and Sam Bond, a splendid nine points, their first win of the afternoon. So coming out then for race number 16, they're there by Josh Dingle, splendid winning ride last time out, certainly Josh having his best ever championship here on the beach today, me as it follows him out, and we've got Rodney McDonald's not been below third place so far on his opening three, very much in contention is Rodney. And number 200, Scott Cresswell. That's a Rod is in for race number 16. One minute left. One minute left for the Rod is for race 16. One minute. I think it's 171 under Whittaker, the rider we're waiting for to come into line for race number 16. Here he comes now. Thomas Jorgens and the rider we're waiting for to come out, of course. It's Thomas Jorgens and the rider waiting for to come out, not Andrew Whittaker. Six riders on the CT is in for P. No Andrew Whittaker again this time. Thomas Jorgens had made a machine from the last time. Dave Mears on the outside. Then we got Scott Cresswell inside in. Then Thomas Jorgens and then we got Andrew Whittaker, no points. 267, Thomas Jorgensen, five points. Number 14, Rodney McDonald, seven points. Number 19, Dave Mears, six points. Number 200, Scott Cresswell, four points. And number one, Colin T, the reserve, three points. So 
looking at race number 17, James Change in action, Callum Walker, I should think we'll see Joe Nelson, James Wright as well, so James Wright coming across the line, Charlie Powell, good ride last night, James Change, two wins and a second place, Callum Walker, one Five riders coming out, so for this, uh, there'll be no Jack Nelson, we don't hear many wonderful. Number one, Bob Teed is a replacement this time. It's Bob Teed coming out of the number one machine, not the number 17, so he's riding number one machine, is Bob Teed for this race number 17. As they come into line then, Shane Shane's going to be right on the outside, then we've got uh, Callum Walker next to him, then Matt Saul, then Bob Teed, then, then James Wright, Charlie Powell right on the inside, so James Shane's going to come for the outside, but in this race, number 17 with James Wright just inside him. He powers away from right, going down the back straight for the first time. James Lee from right, holding that second place position. Superb first corner, and then James is on the better of it. And he's a clear leader coming out of top. Having a good back to the right. James Lee right to the change in there in second. Lee from the right, and Charlie Mark. 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 Lee from the right, and Charlie Mark.
Number 48, Ron Winderburn, Liam Brown, nine points. And number 80, Will Offen and Nicky Owen, six points. On we go then to what should be another intriguing race number 20. Gareth and Billy Winderburn have only been beaten once this afternoon. Gary Shearer won his last outing. Neil Owen will be desperate to get that golden right for this one after having a disappointing last ride. And Robbie Wilson will also be desperate for points to make those big eight finals.
Andy Byrne gets the first pick of Gates. He's had the most press wins this afternoon. He's only been beaten once, that was by Ron. So Garrett Winderburn takes the first pick. Ron Winderburn takes the second pick. Peter Lloyd gets the third pick. So Garrett, previously been runner up, he's never won this. Ron has won it. Peter Lloyd was. Uh, last year, so Gareth Winterburn comes in line and gets his place on the grid. Ron Winterburn is going to go on the inside of Gareth, but just on the outside of Gareth. He's going on the inside there of Gareth, so Ron on the inside of Gareth. Big Lloyd goes inside Ron Winterburn, don't forget the six coming out this time. Then we have Gary Shearer, he's taking the next pick. Then Will Offen. And then we have... Uh, Robbie Wilson on number 22's machine. Looks like Robbie's got the very outside. We're off from one for the inside. Gary Shearer in grid four. Gary Winterburn grid three. Rob Winterburn grid two. Pete Lloyd on the inside for the six crews for the big A final 40,000 cc sidecars. This should be an absolutely crackerjack final start. Could be so crucial. Just wait for Gary Shearer to move into line for this big A final 40,000 cc sidecars. Wilson being called, run up to the tapes, everybody's ready. Turns round, he's not happy with his position in the game. 
number two, the Rolling Stone. Mitch Gold's coming out on Daniel Winterton's machine. Mitch Gold will be riding number 12 and not number 9 in this final. So he's coming out on uh, Dan Winterton's bike. That's Mitch Gold riding number 12, not number 9. Anthony Bugger on the outside, Callum Walker next to him, then we've got Zach Binder, then we've got Josh Dingle, then we've got James Shader, James Wright, and the star of the day, the first full star of the day comes in the A final. So back in the line they come then for the second time of Aston Anthony Bugger. Bugle on the outside, Callum Walker next to him. And we've got Zach Binder, and then James Shanes comes in alongside Zach Binder. Gone on the inside, McDonald next to him, right next to him. Nicholas in the middle of the grid, they all come in.
Thank you very much indeed, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, before we do the uh, presentation, I think really, this is the 10th year of this event. There is no doubt it gets better and better and better. There is no doubt it gets better and better every year. There's an awful lot of work goes into this. Once they finish today, they will start ready for next year. We've had a lot of new riders over this year, particularly in the solo classes. And a lot of young riders have come over in the solo classes. And I think they've done an absolutely fantastic job. I've spoken to a lot of the youngsters, they've really enjoyed it and they are determined to come back another year. Even Jack, who got a bad smash, he said he's really enjoyed it and he's going to come back again next year. Now that's good for two reasons. One, it's introducing new riders to the sport over here. And two, if we keep the youngsters going, this can continue and go from strength to strength. They lost one or two riders, obviously, because of the Grand Prix, with uh, riders going to spectate there. There was also a meeting on in England tomorrow. But I think all being well next year, the riders that we lost for this year should come back. And nearly everybody that's rode this year is going to come back as well. I know they're looking to bring in some more continental riders, and that is a good thing. I know Thomas didn't have the best of days, but he made a tremendous effort to get here today to ride for this meeting. He was in the best pairs last evening. He flew over. He arrived just as the practice was about to start. And I think before we start <coughs> the other presentations, tremendous hand for Thomas Jorgensen for the effort he's putting together today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much again. Just one other little point, and then we'll move on to the presentations. The defending solo champion has won it the last two years, was unable to defend his crown here today. But the, three years, sorry, Danny. Three. But the good news is he's come here to be with us for the day's racing and again this evening. So, Danny, if you'd like to stand up, Danny Warwick is back with us here for this year. Good news is he's making slow but steady progress and hopefully next year, Danny? Yeah, we'll be back next year. There you go, he's back again next year. Right, well, we're going to start the awards and we're going to start off with the 1,000cc sidecars and what fantastic racing again today. Absolutely spellbinding stuff for the big chairs. Once again, they've come up absolutely trumps this afternoon. To present the third place awards, it's Martin Lavili of Target Tires. Could you please come forward, please? Thank you. <laughs> I'll step down because the ride's going to go on the roster now. In third place, what a tremendous performance. This is his first time over here. He's been racing, I think, for 18 months on the big chair. And he's getting better and better and better. He is certainly a star name for the future. Tremendous performance in third place. Gary Shearer and Sambon! To come forward then to present the second place awards, Greg Roberts of Lintz Salisbury Accountants, please. In second place, in my word, he had to work hard today. He had a different line to everybody else on that sidecar on this afternoon. This is only his third meeting of the season. He said he's getting into a ward, it's a young man's game, but my word, he was impressive again this afternoon. The reigning British Masters Champion, complete with Passenger, who is the reigning British Masters Champion, European 500 Sidecar Champion, British Champion of the 500 Sidecar as well, well Rod Winterburner, Liam Brown! <laughs>
So your second place is Rod Winderburn and Liam Brown. To present the winning award for the thousand side cars this afternoon, could we please have Jackie from Condor Ferries to come forward, please? Jackie from Condor Ferries, our main sponsor. Thank you very much. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, what can you say? They were third in the British Masters last year. Like Father Rod, he hasn't done too many meetings this year, but he's put in an absolutely fantastic performance this afternoon. To beat Dan four times out of five takes an awful lot of doing. The fabulous, the spectacular, Gareth and Billy Winterburn for first place. There you go, your winners, Gareth and Billy Winterburn. Gentlemen on the roster, please, for the one, two, three. Thank you. Your applause, please, for first, second, and third, the fabulous thousand CC side cars. if we can. So I'm off with Gary and Sam. Gary, I think it's been 18 months you've been racing. You must be absolutely astounded with the progress you've made in such a short time. Yeah, I would have preferred to win it, to be honest, but I preferred to win it, so I would have made up with it. And to come for the first time and finish third against some real class opposition, you must be delighted with that. Oh yeah, absolutely. Made up with it, so. Sam, happy then? Is he a good driver for you? Oh yeah, I wouldn't trust anyone else to that. To Get the back of that with anyway, especially at the speed. Good job. And the thing is, you used to race just mainly in Kent, you are starting to travel a little bit farther afield now, your reputation is spreading, and a lot of clubs are coming forward to the race for them, aren't they? Yeah, I just need to win a bit more money and then I can fill the van to get to the other side. That's all. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, third place, Gary Shearer and Sam Bond. Thank you. Right, we'll turn to Rod and uh, Liam. Rod, um, do you want to tell them exactly what you were telling me in the toilet, the reason that Gareth has beaten you this afternoon? Not really. <laughs> it wasn't that rude, I can assure you. We put Gaz a good set of carbs on and a good engine, it would be best bike. I thought, well, we'll give him the best of everything and it won't be so far behind, will it? <laughs> <laughs> Now, is it, um, now, I've asked you this question many times before, and you've said they're all your bikes. Is that true? We always say in the practice you ride Garris and vice versa. But you tell me to constantly they're all your bikes. Similar, but Grumpy Neil. They're all wheelies! He's got. <laughs> Grumpy in his hand, you say. I don't know what's caused that. I've no idea. What's caused that then, Rob? I don't know. I didn't bring it on, I think. Well, all, all the bikes go to the business, but uh, and when Elk coming in, so it might as well have the best one we've got, so he's younger than me, he's fit than me. This, this used to, the sidecar racing used to be an old man's sport, but no, not, not anymore. You're still very competitive though, Rod. I think, bearing in mind, this is only your third meeting of the season, isn't it? Yeah, it is, yeah. But there were a bit more this time, which went to Cornwall in the fortnight, but... I'm not looking forward to it. The travelling does us. It's just a long, long way to go. Everywhere we go, it's just, you know, the travelling just does us. Just a, just a time consuming thing. I think a lot of people don't realise you run your own business right up north, and sometimes it's four or five o'clock before you finish the work. Then you, you go down to Kent, five hours, probably eight hours to Cornwall. You race, you've got to be back home Sunday night, back to work on Monday morning again, isn't it? That's right, yeah. You're back home, it's like one or two o'clock in the morning and you're up at four or five up for work and it's just, it's just the long old days. It's, uh, you know, sometimes we'll have a weekend off now and again and just, just have a bit of free time. But uh, it's, just, uh, it's just the travelling really that does it for us, but we'll do it. Thanks very much for having me with Liam. Liam, fantastic. 
uh, 12 months, Masters Champion with Rod, European Champion with Josh, British Champion with Josh, only last week up at Cheshire in that fabulous meeting. It's been a tremendous 12 months for you. Yeah, it's been a good season and uh, I hope to keep going with it and keep the results coming in. It's just, uh, like Rod says, it's just the time and the effort you've got to put into it. It's, it just takes a lot of time. He is a very, very fast guy. I mean, he's not the youngest of people, but he's very, very quick out there, isn't he? Yeah, you can see him slowing down a bit now. He is. He'll be uh, in his wheelchair soon. We'll get him. Yeah. Is that what the, uh, are you going to work the wheelchair with a the cramp then, rather than the hand? So how are you going to manage that then? <laughs> Now, just one, I'm going to have a word with Gareth a minute, but I know, Ron, everybody was intrigued. You took a totally different line to everybody else out there racing today. Gareth was right around the outside very quick. You tried to come on the inside in the second race you got him. But quite seriously, you said, if, you, if I stop him behind him, I get so much spray and rubbish, it's just a waste of time. You've got to find a different line to pass him. And that was what you tried to do today, wasn't it? Yeah, it was, yeah. That sand hits you so hard, and when, when it hits you fair, you know, it hits your chest just slows you down so much, it's coming back at such a rate, so there's no point following anybody else, you've got to swap and change the line and try not to cross over, but uh, yeah, pass the man one. There you go, thank you very much indeed, Rob Winterburn, Liam Brown, you runners up for the big uh, thank you gentlemen. <laughs> Sorry to keep you waiting Gareth, uh, tremendous performance this afternoon. Yeah, we've had a belting day, a belting weekend really, it's been a bit hard, a bit heavy, but uh, yeah, we've all, we've all done his hand at home, we've got his, uh, got his overalls on and got bikes ready. Our Nathan, who sadly won here this weekend, he's had to stay at home for work, it won't for him, we wouldn't have been here. Uh, but yeah, we've all come together and got in and come and we've done his best. Nice no, sit down to give you some good equipment to ride now. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's hard. Uh, we are hard it works me at home. Don't get a chance to do any, any work on my bikes anymore. Uh, Dad's set all my bike up, he's set all my carbs. We've done the engine, Billy swapped the engine before we set off. Uh, I just don't get time to touch my bikes, it's a shame, so I enjoy working on them. Billy, fabulous today for you a lot. Sorry, Gareth, along with Gareth, you enjoyed it today. Yeah, a lot of fun. It's been a great weekend as well. It's pretty much been a holiday for me, and as well as the family. It's been a great to get away as well. Now this coming around the last corner, that leg coming out, was that a celebration quick or was he going that fast? It was just a case of trying to hang on that way. Um, it got to the point actually when we were coming out of corners and I was only using my right hand, my left arm was just giving up. It was that fast down here, that much fun that you know you want to celebrate before you go over the line, but I thought if I do I'm going to fall off and get run over by my dad. <laughs> <laughs> very quick out there today, wasn't it? Oh, very, very quick. No, it was, wasn't as big as last time we came, but very good days racing, very, very fast, very enjoyable. Thank you very much indeed, ladies and gentlemen. That's your one, two, three, the side cross, my mission on the phone. Good afternoon, Matt. Thank you. That's Rob Winterburn and Ian Brown, Gary Winterburn, Billy Winterburn, Gary Shearer and Sam Bond. Thank you very much indeed. to the solos and some absolutely fantastic racing in the solos this afternoon. I'm sure you'll agree with some of the quickest solo racing we've seen on the beach for a very, very long time. So again, we present the first, second and thirds. Again, to present the third place, Martin Lavellier of Target Tires, please to come forward. Thank you very much indeed. Third place then in the solos this, this evening. A young man has come back and taken the grass track world by storm of late. He's done quite a bit of speedway racing along with his uh, older brother Charles. I can remember him both starting off in the auto cadets at Lancashire Grass Track Club many, many years ago. He's come back on the grass over the last few months. He's been flying everywhere he has ridden. He's done a fabulous job to finish in third place this afternoon. James Wright!
Right, Doc Smart have sponsored all the winners, that's the shit there, there. There's champagne, they're drinking over here for the 1000cc sidecars. We thank them very much for that on the sponsorship. In second place, and to do the awards, Greg Roberts of Lynn Salisbury, accounts please to come forward, thank you. In second place this afternoon, one of the young men making his first visit to the beach, as was James, who finished in third place. He's had a fantastic 12 months. Last week in Cheshire, he retained his British 250 Championship with an awesome display. He was back on the 500 again this afternoon, as of last week, tested the track out in his first race and then was virtually unbeatable after that. He's a double world under 125 champion, a young man with a tremendous future. Second place, Zach Fightman! There goes that by in the second place. Can we have Juliet of Condor Ferris please to come forward? Juliet of Condor Ferris please. Thank you very much indeed to be presented the winners trophies. And the winner this afternoon, another young man who's really put it together over the last six months and what a week it's been for him. Last week he was in Germany, along with the England World Team Cup squad. They won the World Team Cup for the first time ever. A tremendous performance beating the Germans in their own backyard. This young man was part and parcel of that team. He's shown again today why he is one of the superstars of 500cc racing in grass track at the moment. He's really quick, he's very, very spectacular. The winner and 2015 Sundays British Champion, James Chains! There you go, you, when you, you see them up there you realise just how young they are ladies and gentlemen without the cabbers on and without their helmets on they are the young men of the sport, they've served us brilliantly this afternoon. Right, we'll have a word, quick word with James. James, it's been a dream, come back for you on the grass track scene. Yeah, I've just come back and enjoy myself and get away from the speedway and um, just come back to my roots really and take a meeting at a time and um, See how it goes, really. Um, I think we're pretty well on the grass track scene. I might try and uh, get the long track side, but um, see what happens. Has it surprised you just how well it has actually gone? Because you've not stepped back since you came in, back into the sport, have you? No, I thought I'd do pretty reasonably well, but I didn't think I'd hit the ground running like I have done. So uh, I'd just like to thank the sponsors for uh, giving me a chance and giving me a bike uh, and everything. Uh, I'd like to thank Paul for landing me a bike here to make it possible. So, uh, and obviously, um, Mike's put on a good uh, show for everyone and really enjoy myself here and the, the atmosphere is great, everyone's friendly and um, I'd love to come back again next year. And obviously people have noticed your form, you're being asked to do more and more big grass track meetings, haven't you? Yeah, I've been asked by everyone all over the, the continent, France, Germany, but at the minute I don't want to do too much, I just want to enjoy myself and find my feet and uh, hopefully the confidence will come back and um, go from there really. Thanks very much indeed, James. Congratulations on your third place. Over to Zach then. <laughs> Zach, a fantastic week for you. You retained your British title at Ch Cheshire last week and a brilliant second place today. Yeah, um, that was great last week to uh, retain that. That kind of gave me a little bit of a boost. As a... I've had some half decent results in the 500, but uh, it's probably the best one yet. And again, like last week, first of all, you seem to be feeling your way, and then next time out, you're absolutely fine. 
Yeah, I was making some better starts today, which I didn't think was going to happen. But, uh, yeah, I seemed to like suss out in the first one and seemed to carry on from there. What's the main difference between riding the 250 last week and back on the 500 this week? It was definitely a lot harder last week riding that. And, uh, uh, yeah, it's just a lot, a lot more power, it's a lot easier to uh, ride. But, uh, yeah, but just carry on from there. Is that the end of you on the 250 now, retaining the British title, or will you just concentrate on the 500s, or what are your plans? Uh, we'll probably try and retain it next year as well, but uh, after the first race up there, I didn't, think, I didn't want to retain it, because I didn't very well, but then uh, it seems to all click on from there. And uh, yeah, just carry on with the speedway, and then uh, grass track as well. Thanks very much indeed, Zach Bynick, your runner at Time Seven World. Thank you. James, a fantastic week. Uh, you could probably only dream about this, a successful member of that brilliant World Team Cup squad last week. Yeah, this week's been an absolute dream for me. Come from Germany with the Team World Cup and then to come here and win here, it's been, it's been a dream come true. A shame I didn't get to ride the main meet with England, but I played my part, I helped out where I could, and to walk away with the medal to say I was part of something that might never happen again is, is a big pat on my back, and hopefully in a few years' time I'll be the main ride and helping out some of the younger riders that come through. You said obviously you didn't get away from riding the main event, you did all the practice and obviously you've learned so much from going out to a meeting like that, which only can hold you in good stead for the future. Yeah, it was brilliant. I went out and I took a couple of sessions on my own to work out where to ride and then I started to follow some like Richard Hall and Andrew and Glenn and after each session they came and gave me a bit of advice and they said try this, try that and it's obviously working because from today and last week I haven't really changed the way I was riding and it's working, so I can't really complain about things. And then today, your first time here, you've convincingly won it. I mean, unbelievable again, isn't it? Yeah, the final was a, it was a tight first corner coming into the final, and I looked over my shoulder and I couldn't back off because that was right on me. But it was to come here and to fall in love with the beach straight away is an amazing thing, and hopefully I'm allowed back in next year, but I don't make, don't make too much of a call myself later. <laughs> <laughs> It looked pretty fast out there. Was it fast from the rider's point of view? It was a lot faster than I was expecting it to be. When I looked at the track, it didn't look as big as I was expecting it to be, but it rode really fast and it stayed nice and smooth, which made it even faster. Many congratulations on your win. Ladies and gentlemen, we got James Shane, Zach Bynick, and James Wright for one, two, three, and the Sarah. Thank you very much for being Right, we do have one further award to do this evening. It's a special award for extreme effort. And it's going to be presented by our special guest, Zef S. Ellsberg of Mad Max Race Team. Ellsberg, if they'd like to come forward, please. fantastic and awesome riders here but the extreme effort one is a, uh, a new award that I thought would be really reflect sort of someone going well out of the way and sort of commitment to sort of motorsport and after talking to uh, my sort of special secret committee of people behind the scenes we decided uh, that there was one unanimous person before I do the person, this actually uh, has been cut out of 316 stainless, so you can actually use it as a sprocket for <laughs> at the rear of the bike if you really wanted to. Um, the person who is the recipient of this award is probably the architect of the sand ace and why we're here today. Ten years of hard work and commitment, no pay, purely for the love and passion of motorsport. He's a top rider himself. He was in the finals as well. And I think there's uh, really one name that you probably all know, Andy Bugar. Come up.
this 100%. Thank you.